if I can have seen who I was today, I would never believe it. Like you, you, you feel so stuck sometimes that you think like, that's not me. You know, like you can see this video and be like, I'm not, I'm never going to be like that. And I never thought I would be like that. I never thought I would have my own life and pursue my own stuff and feel so much a part of the world. So for the last year of, of my marriage and of right before I left the community, it was really, really tough here. And it felt, I just felt stuck. It's like just the feeling of, I know I don't want to be here, but I don't know how to get away. I didn't know there was another way. And I actually remember looking out the window, it was raining and like watching birds and like, I wish I was that. Like I, I felt I was like in a cage and I felt miserable and I was really, really depressed. And, um, but I didn't know how to, how to get away and all my friends seemed to be okay with this lifestyle. And I, I just, it didn't work for me because I was, I was also really angry and hurt. It feels horrible to be misunderstood and to be like typecast or <coughs> told you're bad. It's a horrible feeling to feel different from everybody and terrifying to leave and to feel like you're an outsider. I was struggling so much because I felt I didn't want to make the wrong decision and I didn't want to, I didn't want to hurt my husband. That was a huge thing. My family, my husband, having to make a decision to leave all of that is very freeing. It's terrifying and that's why it took a long time. It took me years to leave. I had questions since I was actively asking since I was 12. I left when I was 24. So when I first started with Footsteps, the support groups that I went to was more about just logistics of literally just like leaving. Now, now my family, like how do I tell my family? You know, how do I relate to my family now? Now there's like new experience, new foods, new everything that you kind of want to talk about. New, I don't know what men want from me. I didn't know how to, I didn't know what flirting was. So then there's different groups that they had like a Footsteps 2 that talks about just continuing it, like things that you want to talk about, which is dating or sexuality or family, which is constant stuff, right? I could share my thoughts and I could share it without being judged. And, and other people feel the same way because I felt so different in the community and every, nobody would understand me, right? And all my friends seemed okay. And then at Footsteps, it was suddenly like people had similar experiences and I wasn't the only one. I felt finally like understood and it felt safe. And um, yeah, it was just really freeing feeling. I think Footsteps does give you a sense of self and identity that you can be proud of without having to, it doesn't negate where you're from. To be like, I'm a member of these group of people who are incredibly brave and strong and make the decision to leave and we support, support each other in our endeavors, in our struggles, in our life. I can't really think about how it would have been without Footsteps. I'm just lucky to have it. Mm -hmm.